Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Skyrim. Where we left off last time, we got into a bit of a fist fight. And uh, we won, of course. I'm scared crazy. He believes in Talos. Tell me about Talos. Hello my friend, if you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered... Okay. I'm scared. That's cool. Talos was a human who they believe ascended to godhood. He will literally babble for like 10 minutes about Talos. Hello, guard. You've been seen in the company of the companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. Thank you. Random. Guard? That is the one sort of odd thing about Skyrim and all of Bethesda's games, actually. As you do things in the game, people will address you differently, but sometimes it just forgets that you are some things. Like, they'll be like, watch out, or I will put a, like, I'll put you in the jail or something like that, and you're like the high lord of that My province. Please. What's no the time. meaning of this interruption? Y'all, Balgruff is not receiving visitors. I just... Well, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Yarl will want to speak to you personally. I figured he would. You did not sheath your sword. You sort of jammed it through your hand and then sort of across your waist. That was probably very so painful. You were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Actually, let's not say that. The dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not- Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Thank you. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Oh, the shadow mod's working as well as I'd hope. I guess it's pretty good. For a seven-year-old game. We should put our new steel armor on. Gave us some free- oh, we had steel armor. Or, no we didn't. We had iron armor. Now we have steel armor and we look a little bit different. Actually, we look cool. We're gonna look really neat when we're fully armored up. I think. Faringar. I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go Father ahead says and fill I'm him in with all the, the details. Sword, so I practice with my So the all thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. 
Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? Did you guys just see the whole lighting scheme change? That was weird. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. <laughs> I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. It's just so casually, it's like, it's a shitty town. Just go to the, the shittiest town you can find. Just go there, and that's where it's at that. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. All right. Well, I'm gonna see if you have any enchanted stuff. Ah, students of the craft. Oh, you want me to enchant it? It's a priority now. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. I know how to enchant things. Before it's late. I don't think we have anything to enchant it with, though. You seem to have found me an able assistant. We don't have. Oh, well, we do have a soul gem, but we don't have any enchantments, so there's no real point. Yeah. And you'll be rewarded. White run will be in your debt. May the gods watch over your battles. Yeah, right? I'm just gonna leave that. Actually, I think there's one thing I want to talk to him about. What is it that you need? How can you protect White Run from the dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Farangar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Foreshadowing. Whose side are you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. No I doubt see. General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side. Or the other. But that day has not come yet. I'm just really distracted by his the, the uh, handle of his sword sticking through his hand. Now, <laughs> if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Yep, I'm on my way. Be glad you're here in the city. Bleak Falls Barrow. That is our first main quest thing we have to do. We could go do that. But I think we're gonna go do the companion quest first. We stop cloaks, Imperials, we oh. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm I don't need to buy anything. Mayor from Hulda. Mister, could you spare a what coin? Is it? No, dragons. I'm not going to spare you a coin, child. This town is very, like, full of trees. That's House Grey Main. Battleborn's up here. Let me just break in. We're actually hidden here. Uh, easy enough. We should go talk to them, see if we can get a quest here. There is a Battleborn, or a couple Battleborn quests. Sorry. We're good. Everything's fine. I meant to do that. Hello. Anybody home? 
Usually there's somebody in here. At least one person. I'm not even really stealing because there's no one here to stop me. At all. I'm going to take your flute because it might be good. I'm not going to take the sweet roll because it's kind of pointless. What's in here? Ooh, okay. That is worth grabbing. But technically counts as stealing, so we're going to need a fence at some point. That one's going to break. Perfect. Close the door. I'm gonna read the Imperial Missive. Or grab it newest. I'll eat it in, or I'll read it in a sec. Just wanna make sure we get everything before we get kicked out of here. Oops, didn't mean to take the fine clothes, but that's A okay for now. Goblet's not really worth taking. That's a nice amulet. We're going to eventually need to find a place to stash all this junk until we can actually sell it off. Actually, you know what? Fine clothes and fine shoes are actually worth quite a lot. I'll take them. Oh, you're here. Hi. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Anyone upstairs? Why is nobody home in this house? Place has seen better days. Kind of filthy. I really don't want to take a loot. That's got nothing in it. Alright, I guess that's it for here. Kinda of hoping there'd be more in there. Let's head up to the barrow for the quest. It's a little ways away from here. It's up here. So we gotta get out of the city. We still don't have a torch, which is really unfortunate. No one around town had one that I could find. We may have to kill somebody on the road and take their torch. Yes, house car. We leave immediately. Never thought I'd be missing a torch so much. The dragon will wait for us. There's actually no rush to do the main quest. You can literally do everything else in the game before doing the main quest. I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's a handful of things you can't finish without doing some main quest stuff, but not by much. Well, this is lovely during the day. Wait, you have a torch. Please tell me you sell torches. U R S T. You've disappointed me greatly, but you can buy my junk. Please buy that and that and that and that. You won't buy my stolen mail, so I can't sell that. I guess that's gonna be it. Wait, you have anything else to say? The wind blows bitter cold in this place. It does. The wind sucks here. The road makes this one weird. Feel bad for the Khajiit. Nobody likes them. Actually, really kind of shitty and racist of them. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm going the right way. We're heading up this way. Although that mammoth tusk on the map coming up ahead—that's a troll base. Or ogre base? Something like that. Giant base? They are terrifying and they will kill us. Horribly. Like, not even the remotest chance we can win. So we're going to skirt around that so that we don't die horribly. It's important not to die horribly. And usually if you don't get it too close to the mammoth, there's a giant right there. You can see them. Just two of them. If we were an archer and if we got really lucky, we could take them on. As we are not an archer, and there's probably no chance we're going to be 
able to kill them in one-on-one -on -one combat, we'll just leave them to their mammoths and not engage them in glorious death battle. You can see the render distance with the Gamebryo engine. Let me see it closer. Like, look at how that changes. I think that's pretty funny. All the graphics things in this game, by the way, are on Ultra, so it's not like we're playing at a deficit. Did that crab just go into the ground? You creepy mud crab. You can't just go into the ground. Glad there's no durability in this game, too. Durability is the bane of my existence in almost every game. There are a few games that do it really right. But in a role-playing game, you can pretty much get away with not- Oh crap, there's bandits. Get away with not having a durability system. You have like a weapon maintenance cost. That like every like one gold goes to- Every oh. like 1% of gold. Oh man, we're gonna- Okay. Stop shooting me with arrows. No. Stop freezing me too. Time for you to die. That hurt. I was missing a lot. That was my own fault. Still relearning how to play. Not that it's a particularly hard game. Where'd that other body go? We can also eat food to heal up. It's not like a big... Oh, we only have a sweet roll. Well, we gotta be more careful fighting then. Where's this other guy? I hear him. Time to finish this. Can't wait to count on your that jerk shot us point blank and then died for it. Ooh, 10 points of health on that apple pie. I'll take that. Wasn't planning on fighting bandits though. An amethyst? And that's it. I guess hunting bows are pretty good. We should take one with us. We should at least have a bow with us, even though we're not- we're not gonna go bow stealth. He said to himself, more to convince himself than anybody else. There's a wolf up ahead. I think we can eat wolf meat. There's a mammoth, but we are definitely not facing off against a mammoth? Where's the giants? Usually there's giants with mammoths. Hi, wolf. Oh, it's just wolf pelts. Okay, fine. We're almost where we need to be, though. Getting close. Jerem does have a beautiful landscape. That was always one of the big... Or the one of the best features about the game. Like, their world is expansive. And it's very impressive visually, even for its age. Well, this has graphical mods, but even the vanilla model is still pretty good for its age. And here we are. Just a little jaunt across the countryside. Everything's sort of within walking distance. There will be Draugr here. You can see one right there. Or Skeleton Warriors or whatever this is. Oh, it's Farkas. Never mind. Sorry, Farkas. I thought you were a skeleton. My bad. I almost killed him in one hit. One glorious hit. He wouldn't have died. Probably. He would have been a little bit unhappy that we smashed him in the face with a sword, though. He looked like an enemy. It's his armor. It's very evil armor. Okay. So this place is interesting. We are definitely going to have a couple of rough fights. You don't say. Ooh. Two-handed. It's usually good to leave those books until the end of the game and you can get one point more easily, but... We're just going to do it right away because, yeah, it doesn't make a big difference. And take all the junk. Anything in here? Yeah, there's something down that way. Okay, we'll take a look in a sec. There's still more bodies here, including this lovely Draugr who has some money. Looks like there might have been a fight here. Possibly with Draugr. Be careful around the burial stones. I don't want to haul you back. 
Shit. One down. Oh. You jerk. This dude hits hard. Run away! We'll finish off that one for him. He's got it. I did most of the work. Ancient Nord sword. That's a one-headed sword. It still might be worth grabbing. The Ancient Nordic weapons usually do pretty good damage. In fact, is that axe any good for us? I didn't grab the axe. I'm not taking the mace though. Oh, it's a war axe. Wasn't there an axe? Yeah, war axe. Oh, it's still one headed axe. Okay. I need a two handed axe or sword or something. No one else wants to be looted. You just had the. Oh, you have some arrows. Really? Dude, Farkas, move! Sorry. Get out of the way. I'm trying to fit this thing down. Oh, there's an ancient Nordic greatsword. I think it's either on par or better than the one we currently have. I'm just not sure yet. Is that it? Everything's dead in here that needs to be dead. Alright. Let's check swords. 27 for arrows. I'm guessing ours is the same 27. Yeah. Which one weighs more? Which one looks cooler? That one looks super cool. We're using that one. Even though it's one pound heavier. Well, quick save, and we're gonna head down in further. Oh, I remember this quest. Old Nord sacrifice place. Be careful around here. Let's look for a way to open the bars. Gonna have a seat on the throne. I look pretty fancy. Alright, let's get up. No time to just play around. We have things to do. Things and stuff. Oh no! I appear to have trapped myself. Now look what you've gotten yourself into. No worries, just sit tight. I'll find the release. What was that? It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming here. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? Doesn't matter. He wears that armor, he dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. He's werewolf and out. First time I saw this, it like freaked me right out. I thought for sure I was gonna die. But then he just lets us out and comes back. Silver hand great swords are better though. I hope I didn't scare ya. A little. What was that? It's a blessing given to some of us. We can be like wild beasts. Fearsome. You're gonna make me a werewolf? Oh no. Only the circle have the beast blood. Prove your honor to be a companion. Eyes on the prey, not the horizon. We should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. I'm not done searching all the cool bodies. They always have like really nice stuff to loot. Maybe not that one so much. How about this one? Uh, just the fur armor, I think. And silver great swords are worth a ton of money. Always take those. Iron swords, not so much. But fur armor is still worth it. And silver swords are also pretty worth it. We can always drop the armor to take uh, more swords if we need to. Anyone else have swords? Alright. So we are definitely going to use the silver great sword. That's not. There we go. Or the Skyforge Steel. Which one's better? Skyforge Steel. That's the one I'm thinking of. Wait, did you take that sword back from me? No, it's still in my inventory. Okay. 
I think it's his sword that he dropped when he started the combat. But now, he just has another one. It magically spawns swords. We don't need an embalming tool. For any reason at all. What book is that? Looks crispy. Alright, we're moving on then. Down into the tunnel. That's where he pulled the lever to free us, by the way. Just so you know. Hello. She have a silver bow? No, just an iron bow. Or a long bow, I should say. But silver swords, totally worth it. What do you have? Another silver sword. It can actually be hard to sell all the silver swords because they are worth quite a bit and merchants don't have a whole lot of gold in the beginning of the game. We'll level up our speech later to get better sales and them to have more gold and them to accept any item or something like that. I can't remember. Hang on. We can actually just take a look. It's not like it's a difficult task under social. Speech. Sorry. Bloop. Buying and selling prices are better. 10% better prices with opposite sex. If you have a lure, you can bribe guards. Persuasion attempts are 30% easier. Can sell any type of any item to any merchant. Yeah. Investor. Intimidation twice as, success, twice as successful. Fencing is good. You can barter stolen goods with any merchants you've invested in. And every merchant gets a thousand gold for bartering later in the game. We'll work on those later though. They're not super important right now. What is important is looting Draugr for their sweet burial gold. This one's not dead. You can tell by the fact that you can't loot it. Time to end this little game. Is it? Okay. Oh, there's an archer. I was like, what the hell just hit me? But that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, well now we're carrying too much to run. Also, potions are almost always worth taking. Wine is hit or miss. Okay, we need to put some things back, or drop some things I should say. We'll just drop all that fur armor we picked up. It weighs quite a bit. And we can just stuff that item. Oh, we have iron armor we can drop too. It's not very... Uh, maybe it's valuable enough. I don't know, we'll see. We need to get over to that. Don't knock her off the edge. She'll be harder to loot. How did that guy die? Cap of some sort, I'm guessing? Anything back here? A chain! What does the chain open? Farkas, seriously get out of the way. It opens a secret room with a chest, which has nine whole gold in it. Wow, they went all out with that chest. They've spent all the money on the chest and then they didn't have any gold to put in it. I understand what happened. We might lose a few picks here. Masters break picks really fast at low lockpicking skills. And we can definitely do it if we find the right spot. Oh, we're going to lose all of our lockpicks. These are really hard to do. Where is the spot? We're gonna use all of them before we even start to move this thing, let alone get it into a position. There we go. Okay. It's like right about here. Damn it. Los. Oh. Damn it. Such a small range, it's really hard to. Right there. There. Perfect. You know what? I'll accept that. We could buy lots of lockpicks with the stuff we just picked up. And we also got to level... Or It's stolen iron. We're not going to be able to sell that for a long time. We might as well just get rid of it. It's 30 pounds. It weighs a ton. And we also can level up. 
Oops, so let's do that. We'll get more health. We should probably work on lock picking eventually. It's golden touch. More gold. Lock picks never break. That's a nice one to get. Then you just need one lock pick. But I think we're still working. Actually, we should get some heavy armor skill. That's what we should get. Our goal is to get a matched set of dragon armor. Does that do? Oh, yeah, wait, nothing doesn't slow you down. Nice. Alright, we should finish up 200 fighting level 1 first, tier 1 first, then we'll do other stuff. We'll uh, work on armor as well. Oh, we can't even do it yet. Perfect. That means we can actually work on heavy armor. Juggernaut. We've been here before. We went the wrong way. Nope, this is where we're going. Never mind, we're going the right way. I am sleepy. It is... I have no idea what time it is. I decided to do one more video before bed. And while I still stand by that option, I am getting quite sleepy. Also, I am well aware we're at 30 minutes. So, we're just gonna try to finish this cave first. It's not- oh, that's a steel sword. Damn it. Thought it was a silver sword for a sec. We're just gonna try and get this done. Try and do a whole dungeon in one video. Not all dungeons that you'll be able to do that, because some of them are longer. But this one is almost done, I think. So we do have more Draugr to kill, like this one. It's still juicy. Which means now I might want to watch The Mummy, but it's way too late. Oh, it's not dead. Oh! You! That was a solid critical hit. We really are going to run out of thing, run out of inventory. Go away, Draugr. I'm busy. I'm trying to figure this situation out. Can you not see I'm busy? Okay, we should drop the Nordic stuff. It always weighs a lot. Alright, we're back to good again. Nordic stuff is good. It's a good upgrade if you only have iron. Um, but it weighs a ton. That's sort of what you have to keep in mind. when it comes to that. Alive. Not alive? No, he's definitely alive. Now he's not. Farkas, hey. could you not stand right behind me, please? Thank you, dude. Also, these guys don't get up very fast, and you kind of just kill them all while they sleep. There are some that you can't. They'll be tougher ones later on. That will destroy us if we're not careful. Oh, another lockpick. We only have a couple lockpicks left, but be kind of careful. Oh, nope, wrong way. There we go. Lockpicking has increased in skill to four. Or no, that's our skill level to get to level four. What is our lockpicking skill? Our lock ring seal is 22. We need to get it better. Quick saving again. Time to end this little game. I couldn't agree more. Where are you? Hello, guys. Where's the other one? Did you kill her already? Not very tough, is she? Give me that. I hear a bow. Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed. But that didn't miss. Where does body end up? Silver hand bodies are worth a lot. Especially at this point of the game. We don't have room for hunting bows. We might have to jump or we might have to drop the hunting bows we have. Yeah, we will. Because that was a silver greatsword, and they're pretty damn good. Longbow we can get rid of. Steel stuff we can get rid of too. It's not the ideal, but get rid of those two. I think we have one more group of silver and soldiers to go. Don't step on that. 
Yep, they're there. I love the uh, killing blows in this game. Oh, I took the stupid bow. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there he is. All we are going to carry is basically silver swords by the end of this. Okay, we'll get rid of our steel grid sword and we will get rid of that hunting bow. Both hunting bows we have, actually. We're going to keep on top of our inventory this game, I promise. Into the Dustman's Crypt. Oh, right, there's still another section of this whole thing. Okay, this is a good place to quit. We're at least on half the dungeon. I forgot there's another half. Maybe slightly less than half, but anyways, we're going to call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Take care.